Hello everyone, welcome to Titan Consult Risk Management Framework Training. My name is Emmanuel Cyprian. So today we're going to be looking at a very short video, which is the Risk Management Framework Roles and Responsibilities. Risk Management Framework Roles and Responsibilities. Now, this particular topic is highly, highly testable in the ISC Square CAP certification exams. So that is why I'm trying to put out these out there so you can, you know, be useful for you if you're preparing for your certification exam. So what are the RMF roles that we're going to be looking at discussing in this short video? One, authorizing official. Two, authorizing official designated representative. Three, chief information officer, common control provider, control assessor, head of agency, information owner or steward, risk executive function, security or privacy architect, system administrator, information system owner, senior information security officer, information system security officer, information system security engineer. So these are the roles we're going to be looking at. So let's dive in and look at their responsibilities. Authorizing official. Who is an authorizing official? This is the um, organizational official who can accept security and privacy risk to organizational operations, organizational assets, and individual. Authorizing official have a budgetary oversight for the system or is responsible for the mission or business operation supported by the system. Authorizing official approves plans, memorandum of agreement or understanding, plan of action and milestones, and determines whether significant changes in the information system or environment of operation requires reauthorization. Authorizing officials are responsible and accountable for ensuring that authorization activities and function that are delegated to authorizing official designated representative are carried out as specified. And then lastly, for federal agencies, the role of authorizing official is an inherent U.S. government function and is assigned to government personnel only. Authorizing official designated representative. This person is empowered to act on behalf of the authorizing official. He coordinates and conducts the day-to-day -day activities associated with managing risk to information system and organizations. He carries out many of the activities related to the executive execution of RMF. The only activities that cannot be delegated by the authorizing official to the designated representative is the authorization decision and signing of the associated authorization decision document. That is, he cannot accept risk. Chief Information Officer. Chief Information Officer is responsible for developing and maintaining security policies, procedures, and control techniques. He oversees personnel with significant responsibilities for security and ensuring that personnel are adequately trained. He assists senior organizational officials concerning their security responsibilities. He reports to the head of agency on the effectiveness of the organization's security programs. He determines the allocation of resources dedicated to the protection of information system. He may be designated as an authorizing official or a co-authorizing official with other senior officials. This role is a U.S. government function and is assigned to only government personnel. Common control provider it is responsible for the implementation, assessment, and monitoring of common controls. That is, controls inherited by organizational system. It is also responsible for the documentation of common controls in the SSP. It ensures that required assessment of common controls are conducted by qualified assessors with an appropriate level of independence. It also ensures documenting assessment findings in control assessment reports 
and producing plan of action and milestone for controls having deficiencies. It ensures that system security plan, security assessment reports, plan of action and milestone for common controls are made available to system owners of system inheriting common controls after the information is reviewed and approved by authorizing officials accountable for these common controls. Control Assessor Control Assessor is responsible for conducting a comprehensive assessment of implemented security controls and control enhancement to determine the effectiveness of those controls. Control Assessor also, prior to initiating this control assessment, Control Assessors reviews the system security plan to facilitate development of the assessment plan. Control Assessors provide an assessment of the severity of the deficiencies discovered in the system, environment of operation, and common controls, and can recommend corrective actions to address the identified vulnerabilities. Control Assessors prepares security assessment report containing the results and findings from the assessment. Head of agency. Head of agency is responsible and accountable for providing information security protection commensurate with the risk to the organization's operation and assets, individuals, other organizations, and the nation. The head of agency is also the senior official in an organization with the responsible for ensuring that privacy interests are protected and that PII is managed responsibly within the organization. The head of agency also ensures that information security and privacy management process are integrated into the strategic and operational planning process. He also ensures that senior officials within the organization provide information security for the information and system supporting their operations. He also ensures that the organization has adequately trained personnel to assist in complying with security and privacy requirements. Information owner or steward is responsible for establishing the policy and procedure governing its generation, collection, processing, dissemination, and disposal. The information owner is also responsible for establishing rules for appropriate use and protection of information. Information owner or steward of the information processed, stored, or transmitted by the information system may or may not be the same individual as a system owner. An individual system may contain information from multiple information system in information owners. Information owners or steward provide input to system owners regarding the security and privacy requirements and controls for the system where the information is processed, stored, or transmitted. Risk executive function. They provide comprehensive organizational-wide approach to risk management. They establish risk management roles and responsibilities. They develop and implement an organization-wide risk management strategy. They manage threats, vulnerabilities, security, and privacy risk. They provide oversight for risk management activities carried out by the organization. And lastly, they promote cooperation and collaboration among authorizing officials. Security or privacy architects. It serves as the primary liaison between the enterprise architect and the system security or privacy engineer. It coordinates with system owners, common control providers, and system security on private or privacy officers on the allocation of controls. It establishes authorization boundaries. It establishes security or privacy alerts. It assesses the severity of deficiencies in the systems or control. It develops plan of action and milestone. It creates risk mitigation approaches. It ensures compliance with privacy requirements and it manages the privacy risks to individuals associated with the processing of PII. System administrators. They are responsible for installing, configuring, and updating hardwares and softwares. They are also responsible you know, for establishing and managing users' accounts. They oversee or coordinate backups, recovery, and reconstitution activities. 
they are also responsible for implementing controls and enforcing organizational security and privacy policies and procedures. Information system owner is responsible for the procurement, development, integration, modification, operation, maintenance, and disposal of a system. It's also responsible for addressing the operational interest of the user community and for ensuring compliance with security requirements. It's responsible for the development and maintenance of security and privacy plan. It also ensures that the system is operated in accordance with the selected and implemented controls. He decides who accesses the system. He ensures that system users and support personnel receive the requisite security and privacy training. He informs organizational officials of the need to conduct the, to conduct the authorization. He also ensures that resources are available for the efforts and provide the required system access, information, and documentation to control assessors. He received the security assessment result from the control assessors. And lastly, he assembles the authorization package and submit the package to the authorizing official or authorizing official designated representative for adjudication. Senior Information Security Officer is responsible for carrying out the Chief Information Officer security responsibilities under FISMA. He serves as the primary liaison for the Chief Information Officer may also serve as authorizing official designated representative or security control assessor. The role of senior information security officers are inherent U.S. government authority and is assigned to government personnel only. Information System Security Officer, ISSO. He works in collaboration with the information system owner. He ensures that the appropriate operational security posture is maintained for an information system. It serves as a primary, as a principal advisor on all matters, technical and otherwise, involving the security of an information system. It's responsible for the day-to-day -day security operation of a system. It assists in the development of the security policies and procedures. It ensures compliance with those policies and procedures. It develops and updates the system security plan. He manages and controls changes to the system. He assesses the security impact of those changes. Information system security engineer is responsible for this designing and developing organizational information system or upgrading legacy system. Information system security engineers are, integ are integral part of the development team employs best practices when implementing security controls within an information system, such as software engineering methodology, system or security engineering principle, secure design, secure architect, and secure coding techniques. These are the different roles and responsibilities that are relating to risk management framework. So please take time to go over this video and acclimatize yourself with these roles and responsibilities because they are heavily tested in the ISE squared CAP certification exam. If this video is useful and you find it resourceful to you, please subscribe to my channel, like my video, and share it with your friends and colleagues. And I hope to come up with more videos regarding the risk management framework. Thank you very much.